Okay, so it is uh, 10.45. Uh, the, we first had the problem reported here, uh, first heard something at 4 o'clock. The residents here first started smelling something at 5 o'clock. They came down and detected the first oil in the channel at 5.30. So you can see right now it's going down here. Um, and it's now dropped. When we first arrived, it was maybe about four inches down about half an hour ago. Now it's about maybe twice that, so it's maybe eight inches lower than the maximum uh, tar level. So they're clearly pumping it down here at a catchment out here. So this is relatively light crude, not heavy at all. Um, a lot of light fractions in here. Uh, relatively minor um, uh, smell, so we definitely have a smell here, but... but uh, uh, dissipating quickly. Partly that's helped by the fact it's overcast right now. We have some June gloom going on so that the hot sun isn't isn't volatizing everything. But in general it's cont contained to the primary uh, uh, channel here in this what was originally a dry creek bed. And uh, in general it looks like it's relatively contained of probably on the order of a few hundred, a few thousand gallons. Uh, not, a, not a huge amount of oil here uh, from this pipeline break in just above downtown Ventura. I had an idea of my, what was going on, didn't want to know, then heard the trickling, and then finally uh, got out of bed and kind of realized my worst nightmare. So you can see the satellite images from this morning. The marine layer really all morning was really hanging out over Ventura, over Oxnard, and really helped keep the volatilization down in the smells control. So uh, the spill happened just in the Ventura Hills just above us. Now this is not where the spill was, but this is the worry about a lot of these spills, especially in urban areas. We worry about the oil getting into the storm drain system. The storm drain system goes straight to the ocean. It's not filtered. It doesn't go through any sewage treatment plants. We were able to do a damming and diking operation uh, with our agencies working together and stopping the uh, flow of oil uh, from making it even through the city, much less down to the ocean. So it's just before one o'clock. Um, spill happened again at 5.30. We're out here now at San Buenaventura State Beach, checking some of our beach sites. Thankfully, there's no oil on the beach. Uh, it looks like nothing's gonna get close. Uh, the fire department and the cleanup crews have everything pretty much contained, uh, primarily to the creek that's on the Atwaters property. So it's a bummer for the creek, but at least it hasn't spread. Um, we just had the press conference. Nothing is known uh, right now, N nothing new, nothing additional stuff uh, in terms of what we know. And uh, there we go. Okay, so there's uh, some of our sample from today, from out in the field, and you can see it's pretty light, pretty, pretty uh, light fraction of oil, and it's a nice uh, chocolate brown color, as you typically expect from fresh crude. Now where do we store them? We will put them in the oil safe.